When you're working on our product, oftentimes we'll ask you to go into diagnostic mode. This can be achieved by bridging two test points on your module. To bridge the test pads on our module, we recommend you make a special little tool. Take about two inches of 12 gauge wire, strip off the last quarter inch, spread the wire out so that it creates like a snare brush end, and it will bridge the contacts properly for you. On our Intermotive Micro Module, you'll find two gold squares that you need to bridge to put the module into test mode. If you take your snare brush wire and bridge across those two gold squares, the module will go into diagnostic mode. The first thing the module will do is flash out the firmware version of the module, then it'll go into what conditions are met. If you touch your test pads again, it will take it out of diagnostic mode. On our Intermotive Mini Module, we have a gold circle and a gold square with the word test pointing at it. If you bridge those two contacts with your snare brush, it'll put it into diagnostic mode. The Mini Module has the ability to have more than one page of diagnostics, so the status light will flash out what page you're on. You're seeing page one right here. We call that the heartbeat, a 1-1 one, one code. If you were to touch your test pad one more time, it'll actually go into page number four here, and we're seeing multiple other information on the module. You may be asked to go into other pages. That usually involves our engineers. Once again, if you continue to touch your test pad, you eventually will leave diagnostics diagnostics and the LEDs will go off. What we're looking at here is one of our PRPC modules. You'll see on our newer modules that no longer have test pads that you need to bridge and will usually have a red test button to enter diagnostics. Pushing this button will put you into diagnostics. Our PRPC system actually has eight pages of diagnostics that you can read. For more information, call us at 1-800-969-6080. Thanks for watching.